Two seconds, the step back for the win. Got it! Julius Randle knocks it down in the mix. Winning over Washington. Hi, everyone. This is Tim with the Online Big Blue, bringing you the best of New York Knicks sports talk and entertainment. Oh, it was another stinker. What is going on in Knicks land, man? How we lost to the Pacers, I don't even know. Don't even want to get into it. Don't understand what the hell is going on with Tibbs' defense. It seems like the defense has gone from elite status to basically awful at times. I I don't get it. They were ranked 23rd in defense, and we were sandwiched kind of between the rebuilding Detroit Pistons and uh, Trey Young-led Atlanta Hawks. Defense is going to win you games. We lack energy on defense at times now, and that kind of scares me. We, we, we lack that, that killer instinct, that closer's instinct on defense of the fact that we're – last year we were – you know, people like to determine – call us scrappy. We're a scrappy defensive team. Yeah, we're, scrappiness has gone the gore, out the door. We were never the best team in reference to defense with the Knicks because of our player personnel. But you know what we did have? We did have intensity and we had focus. And a lot of our offense facilitated off our defense – to the fact that we were fourth best ranked defense in the NBA last year. That's and that should have been our that should have been our bread and butter. That should be what we do. That should be what we need to do. But what the hell is going on in Nickland? It's just bad. It's bad. Not even get, we're not even going to get into the free agents and Kimbe Walker and Evan. I mean, it's just been they, they they were acquisitions that are probably not working out like the Knicks thought they would. And we're not going to get into Julius Randle because I, I don't want to blame I don't want to lay blame on the Knicks' woes to Julius Randle. I mean, his some of his issues with his games are kind of facilitating into the rest of the team. Um, but we're, we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about that right now. I want to talk about Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is having, of course, all the issues he's having over in Philly. Hasn't seen the court yet. He it's just it's just not a good optical situation for the Philadelphia 76ers. And I've admitted it, I've admitted it many times before. I am a quasi Sixers fan. I, I went to the games for seven years during the process, sat courtside, posted many pictures on YouTube and uh, on Twitter about me and with me at the game. So you know what? I'm kind of a quasi fan. I, I watched Ben Simmons. I watched Joel Embiid. I watched Nerns Noel. You know, I, I watched the guys that came in during the process and, and left during the process. And it's just one of those things that, you know, he he's in a bad situation. He doesn't want to be in Philly. I don't think he ever really wanted to be in Philly. And the way this, the Knicks are headed right now, I think someone like Ben Simmons would be a perfect player for the Knicks. I really do. I think he would. He's a 23-year-old superstar, well, superstar, allegedly superstar. I don't call him a superstar myself, but he's an all-star. He, he, to me, he would be the perfect Tibbs player. Now, you're not going to get them on the cheap. They're, they're not going to get rid of them in Philadelphia just to get rid of them because they could do that anywhere in the league, and you're going to have a difficulty trading within the East with the, with the Sixers. But I think if Philadelphia wants to get out of this situation and wants to derive some talent back to the city, that it's not a bad situation. It's not a bad deal. It's, it's, not, a, it's, it's, it's not a bad idea to send them to the Knicks. Now, I was thinking about it yesterday after the debacle. Package Julius Randle, Mitchie the Kid, Mitchell Robinson, and Kembe Walker. And I know people are saying, well, Kembe Walker right now is nothing. He's a throw. Technically, yeah, he's a throw, and he's a throw because of his contract. But send him to send, put that package and maybe a number one and send it to Philly for Ben. He's a defensive stopper. He's a defensive player. He's going to be the facilitator that we need in New York. Of course, we understand his shooting woes. I, I, I talked about it even when they drafted him. Uh, the Sixers did that. He can't shoot. You, you, put him out, you put him outside of six feet of the basket, you're not going to get much for Ben Simmons. And we all know what happened in the playoffs. We, know, we, we, we all know that woe. But to me, it would be an interesting package to go get Ben because you would get a Tibbs player. I think Simmons is a Tibbs guy. Defensive-minded, facilitator, big body, would be a high-impact player, would free up the likes of R.J. Barrett and uh, Obi Toppin, 
we we would let the Obi Toppin out, let the beast out of the cage. We he, we we could see what he could do for a good thirty eight minutes. Now the biggest issue, of course, is going to be if it fails, it's going to drag the Knicks down <laughs> to the bottom of the Eastern Conference. It's a it's a high it's a it's a high risk proposition. Because, but like I said, he's a Tibbs guy. He's going to be focused on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, Nick fans in my mind would love to watch Ben Simmons play. Would love it. And you moving someone like Simmons out out of the backcourt spot. You, you, what's his name? Tyrese Maxey. You could then move him into the starting lineup in Philadelphia, and have Kembe Walker back him up and flip flop him around. And then you put Randall and mix him in with Joel Embiid. That is a pretty interesting combination on the floor. And then with Embiid's problems, you know, not he's he hasn't really been injury prone lately, but he does take he does have to take a lot of games off. You got Mitchell Robinson, and at that point in time, Mitchell Robinson that could then fill in off the bench and serve basically as his primary backup. I think it's I think it's a good it would be a good fit for both teams. I think you'll get another all-star in Philly with Julius Randle. You will get another big body and another guy that can play outside and you know and go inside in, in Julius Randle to help free up the middle for Embiid. You get a backup point guard to back up to back up what's in what's his name? What's his name? I can't I'm why am I drawing a blank off the top of my head with that kid? That he's going to back up Tyrese. And the Knicks get a superstar who's a defensive-minded player, who is a facilitator, who will help other guys on the floor, such as Obi Top and R.J. Barrett, open up the outside also for Evan. And, 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 and he's basically a Tib- if, guy, if Tibbs is going to be your coach, if Tibbs is your guy, he's the perfect fit then. It's just an interesting proposition. It's, a, it's an interesting dichotomy do i think it'll happen no should it happen it, it would it would actually be a win-win for both teams unless ben simmons totally just goes off the rails in new york which is also a possibility <laughs> there's a distinct possibility he could go off the rails in new york and then, then then this trade would be a disaster for the knicks it's you know it's funny this would be an old james dolan move this would be a james dolan back in the day move I don't know if he, I don't know if he's got the mental fortitude to do it anymore because I do think now he's kind of listening to the whispers of the fan base. But like I said, it would be a perfect guy for Tibbs. It would help your younger players such as Barrett and Toppin. And don't forget about Quickly. I always forget about Quickly. Quickly could finally maybe potentially move into the starting lineup as well. It would be an interesting set. And we would have to we would have to deal with the center position. But I think Nerns Noel could be a good fill in. I think I think it would be I think it, I think it would be an interesting fit for all. And again, this is Tim with the Online Big Blue bringing you the best in New York Knicks sports talk and entertainment. And as always, if you could like, maybe subscribe, ring that bell, you know what it means. That'd be awesome. <laughs>